So I was actually in the middle of another project when something came up. Um, our neighborhood has the opportunity to get free insulation blown into our attic. But the only problem is we currently have a big hole in the uh, ceiling of our garage. This is my husband's shop. And I guess it's just from the drywall being old, but it's dragging, uh, it's, um, it's drooping and sagging and literally falling off the rafters. Both of these sheets came crashing down and fell off. But the only reason I tell you that is because if we're gonna have insulation blown in tomorrow, then we need to go ahead and replace all of this other bad drooping drywall before then. So me and my husband are gonna be working as a team to knock out this job. Let's get going. We started by first removing everything that was on the ground and also covering up anything that could be covered up, such as the top of the toolbox, because this project definitely makes a mess. Then we flipped the breaker and removed the light as well as the garage door opener from the ceiling. There you go. Perfect. Awesome. All right, straight to the ground. And then I started on the very fun task of removing the sheetrock. So what I'm thinking is that this is more than likely going to come down in a sheet and just crash onto things and break, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened. And it's fine as long as you're just ready for it. You good? And I think you should stand back. We tried to remove the piece above the workbench together to cut down on how big of a mess it made, but it ended up breaking anyways. <laughs> so moving forward, I just let things fall to the ground and make a mess. Careful, Billy. I did back the truck into the driveway so that I could clean up a little bit as I go. Now I'm used to working alone and so is Cody. And so I found communication to really be the key to making it work. I'm going to be in here, so just make sure you're not dropping stuff on me. Okay. Hey, I'm going to be throwing nails on the ground, guys, so. Okay. As the guys went through and unloaded the attic, I went through and started pulling all the nails from the rafters. This is a pretty tedious process. I continued to pull nails while the guys decided to go ahead and replace the old decking since we're already working in the space. They first busted up the old decking and removed it. <laughs> Show off. Yeah. I finally got done with pulling all the nails and then just gave them a hand removing that decking. Okay, then it was on to buying and unloading the new ceiling material. I actually talked Cody into going with OSB for the new ceiling instead of with drywall because I have a few things planned for organization on his ceiling. And I love the fact with OSB you can just put a nail or screw anywhere. But he definitely wanted it painted white and so we just spread them over the driveway in the yard and I found it best to just dump the paint directly on it and then start smearing it around. And we actually got into a pretty good system where our buddy would pour the paint and Cody and I would spread it around. <laughs> Our neighbors didn't complain, but we got a few stopped by asking us what in the world was going on. And then the next day we started with the installation. We started off by cutting each board of OSB down so that it would fall in the center of a rafter. And we also went up to the big box store and rented one of these drywall lifters in order to make getting it up to the ceiling a lot easier. And I completely recommend getting one of these if you're going to be doing a similar job. We would lift it up into place, make sure that it was square on the rafters, and then use a nailer in order to pin it to all of the different rafters. And then honestly, it was just a matter of repeating the process. Each row took two and a half sheets of OSB, and I believe that there were five rows total. So just to kind of give you an estimate, because I think it's a pretty standard size garage. Also, since we went with OSB, I left an eighth inch space in between each board so that it has room to expand slightly. When we came to the row where the garage door tracks got in the way, Cody ended up grabbing a ratchet strap and just securing it into place so that he could remove the bracket. Then we put up the OSB and then immediately put the bracket back and remove the ratchet strap. And then just continued to repeat until the entire ceiling was done. Okay, and that's it. Cody now has a new ceiling on his garage. Total, we spent $215, uh, $170 for the OSB, and $45 for two gallons of paint. So I hope that you were able to get something out of this video, and I hope that you enjoyed watching Cody and I work together for a change. Uh, that's it for this one. I hope that you have a good week, and I will see you next time. I'm going to back up the truck so we can throw the drop okay. in. Okay, good luck. I'm good backing up.
Some things, but back in the truck ain't one of them. That's why. That's why. That's why I need a truck. That way, if I hit the curb, it just goes right over it. Yeah. <laughs>